Okay guys, you saw a little speed through there of me altering our uh, title page a little bit. After thinking about it overnight, I wanted it to look a little bit different and a little to go a little bit more with what I plan on doing in the rest of the journal. And so here we go. I'm not worried about covering up all the writing in the background. Um, it just adds texture in my opinion. But uh, now I'm much more happy with the way it's turned out. Um, I'm still very pleased with the cover. I am waiting for a few more sort of winter themed parts to come in. They're not here yet, um, but hopefully they'll be in sometime today. Anyway, we are gonna get started with our first page, which I'm gonna sort of talk you through. So we're gonna start off our pages always with putting the date. So I printed the dates uh, for December on these labels. These are Avery 8167 little tiny labels. And I um, have this as a PDF document. You actually get two months on here. Um, so, because there's 80 labels on this sheet. Um, so you definitely could, you know, cut some off here and give some to a friend. Uh, I am going to put this PDF document in both uh, Patreon and My Creative Year um, to download. So you need to be either a supporting patron over on Patreon or you need to be a member of My Creative Year. Now, My Creative Year are getting some of these downloads free. You don't have to give me any money for them, um, but they're getting less of the downloads than you would get if you're in Patreon. They're getting all of the downloads in Patreon um, and a few extra, well, they always get extra things over there. Um, and I have an idea for a special video series for them over there too. Anyway, that, that's different for 2021. Um, so I'm going to start always with uh, pulling off the label for the date. And I'm going to put it in the upper corner. Oh, but wait. But wait! I punched out these large snowflakes. Yes. Um, these are a Sizzix die. My label just went on the floor. These are a Sizzix die that I literally just got in the mail um, yesterday. I ordered it at Amazon. Um, they ha it's a Tim Holtz die. I need some more. Yoo-hoo. Good thing I have more. Um, I will put the name of the die here somewhere and there'll be a link in the video description. We are going to put that down. And then my my date, date label fell on the floor, so let's get that up. And on the page, there we go. So we're gonna always start the page off by putting the date. We don't need to put the year because the year is in the front of the journal and the year is also here on the cover. Um, so we're gonna always start out that way. My desk is a disaster. Okay, anyway. Then we are gonna take our bowl of positive affirmation words. I'm gonna choose a word at random. I'm gonna mix them up. I'm not gonna really, while well, I'm looking in the camera, but I'm not gonna really pay too much attention to the one I'm picking. Playful, that's a good one. And then we are going to find the coordinating sticker for that word. It was near the bottom of the pile there. Now, you might ask why am I not just putting the stickers in a bowl and putting one at random? You could definitely do that. When I originally envisioned this idea, it was taking this card, pulling a card at random, and actually stapling the card into my journal because I have a number of these sets of cards, positive affirmation cards. These are a digital download in my Etsy shop. The people over at Patreon got this as a free um, download for them, uh, but you can go buy it in the Etsy shop. And I have a number of different sets, so it's not like I don't have plenty of them to spare. I've got two or three sets upstairs. I've got one set downstairs. There's a lot of them to go around because I have guests when they come over at random, just pick a card, take it home, why not? Anyway, um, and then later I thought, hey, why don't I make stickers? So this was kind of an afterthought. So you could do either way or not at all. Maybe this part doesn't appeal to you. Whatever works for you. So we're going to be using that in our page. And we are going to be using the positive affirmation word as a jumping off point for whatever we do on the page. Now, the other thing that I want to do is grab one of my to-do sticky notes because we're going to add that. Um... Um, I have a few other random bits and pieces, but I think that's enough for this page. So I'm gonna put a page together. I will probably 
Um, I may print um, a couple of images with art foamies on just printer or drawing paper, thin printer or drawing paper, because again, this is a uh, moleskin cahier. The paper is very thin, um, plus it's kind of nicer to work with thinner papers and gluing them down rather than lots of cardstock, um, which because this is thin paper, the cardstock will make bumps and ridges on the back side, which is then hard to write on and blah, blah, blah. You get the idea, right? All right, so I am going to uh, work through my page. I've got my word playful, which inspires an idea for an art foamy to use. I've got my to-do list, which again, we are going to put, um, We're going to put things that will send us in a more positive direct direction this holiday season. Again, this is not a traditional December daily by any stretch. We are looking for the lightness in the dark, the bright spots in what is a crazy, insane, slightly depressing holiday season this year. Um, we are trying to find the light. We're trying to find the lesson. We're trying to find the bright spot. Yeah, so we're not ignoring what's going on, but we're trying to find the message. So I'm going to use this to-do list rather than writing, you know, um, Christmas gift shopping, wrapping, decorating, cooking, whatever. I'm going to write breathe and uh, listen and, um, you know, peace and, and things like that on my list. Yes? All right, so I'm going to get my mojo going and I will be right back.
Okay, here is the first journal page and my version of a December daily. It is part art journal, part diary journal, part positive affirmation journal, call it what you will. Um, and it is similar in style to my daily drawings journal that I've been doing already. Um, I'm really enjoying that process and I thought to carry it over to December with a particular theme in mind of positive affirmations in what is bound to be a very strange holiday season. So anyway, the two art foamy stamps you saw me use, one is mine um, and it is from my collection of art foamy stamps which you can find on their website. The others, the other one is not mine. Okay, this this one is from Inat Kessler over in Art Foamies, and I will link uh, both Foamies directly in the description below, but they have a lot of designs, so browse around the Art Foamies web website. It is an American-owned mom-and-pop company, so show them some love, and if you need some foam stamps to add to your tools this season, please be sure and do so. You don't have to buy mine. Of course, if you do, that's great, but you know, just sh shop with Art Foamies and show them some love anyway. I love the way this turned out. I can't get wait to get started on page two. And yeah, so I hope you um, join me uh, this December in um, what we are affectionately tongue in cheek calling our December daily. And you do some sort of positive affirmation December journal. You may not need want to do it every day. That's, you know, crazy town and, you know, leave it to me to decide to do that. But anyway, um, maybe you just want to do one or two pages. I would love to see what you do regardless. And if you're in my creative year, please share over there. Um, of course, if you're a patron and Patreon, you know how to get a hold of me and message me. I would love to see what you're doing. You can also leave something in the comments below. You can direct message me. My contact information is out there. But I would love to see what you do. Leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below. And okay, and that's it for this page for today, December 1st. And there you go. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups if you can. I would sure appreciate it, that, not just for me, but other content creators and small companies like Art Foamies. Um, we would all definitely appreciate that. If you don't know how to support your favorite content creators, um, ask them. They probably have a way in their video descriptions if they do YouTube videos. Um, don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.